Hey there, how are you doing? Hope everyone is in good spirits today. I think I'm in pretty good spirits. Can't complain about anything. Today I am going to focus on that area behind me. Unfortunately the sun is still out on this side. This is the east side of the house. I thought the sun would have been a little further by now, but it's not. I have a my rototiller back here and I'm gonna use that to till all of this up now I am zero authority on anything related to gardening but I do like it so what I'm doing might be completely and absolutely wrong but I'm gonna do it anyway I have not tested the soil I know you're supposed to test the soil. I have not. I know that there's a lot of clay because we've made little clay figurines with some of the clay we've pulled out of here. It is thick in some spots. Um, I've also heard or I suppose watched on other YouTube channels that um, it's not necessarily a good idea to till the soil. But because I have done nothing with it ever, I'm going to go ahead and till the soil. And hopefully I won't need to do that again. And I'll just be able to add stuff on top of it. But it seems to me, and I'm probably wrong, that with the ground being as, as clay as it is, that things just kind of don't really go work their way down into it. They just kind of wash away down our slope as far as um, topsoil and that kind of thing. So I'm going to mush it all up in there. I've got the septic system that I need to work around. The drain for the gutter I can just pull out. I haven't um, installed it or anything. But I also have some black hose running against the house that feeds the or I should say waters not feeds the hanging basket so I need to be careful of that I also have electrical cords and then way over here on the opposite corner there's a sprinkler system that is pretty much inoperable there's some um, there's walk over here there was a pipe that I don't think think we broke it but maybe we did I don't remember we have dug stuff up over here so all of that sprinkler stuff I'm just gonna rip up out of the ground I do have a lot of grass growing in here it's kind of just crept its way through there used to be sort of a rock border that went around here there were azaleas all through here and I have taken them out. I did one video removing some of them, but others I took out a long time ago. Until I can work with my husband, this, um, I don't know what the heck it is. Obviously something to do with the sprinkler. I'm just going to kind of go around it. And then when we come around this side of the house, this is the north side of the house and eventually I will work my way up to the gate for the doggy um, pen and then make a pathway and it'll come from those gates so we can get the lawnmower up and down. I haven't decided on what I'm going to use to build the path at this point. There will be a path of some sort there. So today I'm going to just ever so slightly come around the corner of the house. I started pulling those rocks out. I don't know what they were there for. Um, I'm not ready to plant this side, so I'm not going to till it just yet. But I am going to get my roses um, ready to go and start going up this wall as quickly as possible. I think I'll order the second one tonight so that I have a match. Um, oh, and that orange cable is from the um, internet and 
TV and all that jazz. It got pulled up when we were hauling tree logs out. It goes all the way to the front of the to the house. So now I've got to figure out how I'm going to reroute this cable um, because I don't want to be having to worry about um, digging it or hitting it with the shovel or any of that stuff. So here we go. I got the sprinkler pipe out. Well, that was unpleasant. I had mud go down my shirt and into my britches. Yuck. All right. I am trying to get the grass dug out of here. There it is. I had to stop and get some CBD oil and some Tylenol because it's killing the arthritis in my lower back. I think I will dig the grass out up to where I pulled this sprinkler line out, that straight line over here, over here. Um, and then I'll probably till the rest in unless it's easier to get up than it has been. <sighs> um, I know that it's controversial as far as gypsum goes, whether you should put it in your ground or not, but I'm totally putting gypsum in there because this clay is thick. It's impossible to dig. So I guess it takes nutrients away and everything gardening seems to be controversial. I'll watch one video that says do this and another video that says don't do that. So I don't know. I. I'm getting older, not younger, and I don't like fighting with this clay soil. So I'm going to throw gypsum in there along with some of the other stuff I got whenever I get around to tilling this up. Looks to me though that I got a lot of digging up of turf to do. It's day two and I honestly really don't want to be out here today. But I got to take advantage of the good weather while I can. So here I am against my will. I got as far as the second bubble over there. It's hard to see because of the sun. So today I'm going to continue digging up grass. How exciting and then maybe I might even get to the tilling part. Here goes. Some bad soil when all it's doing is scratching the surface. It's digging up nothing. I think it's going to take a while.
would appear that I'm gonna have to go through this whole darn thing and break everything up with a shovel before I even think about tilling this up because it is just too compacted and that really stinks. Ugh. I have turned over I guess about two-thirds of this earth and I am wrecked. My back is killing me but I am not gonna stop today until I get to the end so maybe I can till this tomorrow and break up this clay. It is so heavy and I pulled out a lot of roots from all these azaleas and I know that they're gonna wind all around and get caught up in the tiller when I go tomorrow so I've been trying to throw some out as I see them and I'm also throwing out as many rocks as I can as I flip and dirt over shingles bricks some other metal things that are in here and then digging around all the sewage pipe and unfortunately down here that is part of the pipe that goes to the house and of course as luck would have it it's exactly where I wanted to plant my climbing rose it is right in the middle and I think you can still see that little white dot underneath there <sighs> so I guess I'm gonna have to figure out how to plant this rose do some research on the roots and see if they're gonna dig into pipes probably not but I don't want to plop it right down on top of that thing either so I guess I'll have to do some looking into that time to continue on <laughs> I'm so sore so it is after six the moon is out and I have been at this since before 12 this afternoon and I am so tired I can hardly hold the gimbal up. My feet have blisters, my hands have blisters, but I got all that clay and soil turned over all today. And now it's time to take a shower and probably collapse for sleep. <sighs> Back at it tomorrow. I am on day three of trying to get this garden bed ready and it is no joke. I have been tilling at this clay and it's as if it doesn't even care that I'm going over it with this machine. It's going to take me all day. I have my 55th Shooter Squadron shirt on today. Um, that was my last squadron that I was in while I was in the Air Force. They are out of Shaw Air Force Base in Sumter, South Carolina, and they did the maintenance for the F-16. So, I've got my shooters on today. I have behind me nine bags of compost and nine bags of topsoil. I want to till this into here. But this is fighting with me. I don't know if I need a bigger tiller, which would be nice right now because I'm really getting nowhere. Or if I should have just did a raised bed and said, on all of it. It's, I've already started now, so I'm going to keep going at it. Um, I guess we'll see how far I can get. It's supposed to be pouring down rain tomorrow. So I dug all this up yesterday over there where you see those scratch marks in the dirt. That is where I have tried to start breaking the soil down with the tiller. Huh. And over here, this is what it's trying to dig through. I mean, it is th so, 
it just, it's, ugh. I don't even know how you would begin to deal with this. Ah. Got it all tilled up. Getting some some gains. Um, but no, for real, I am getting a pretty good workout out here. <sighs> Lifting dirt, tilling dirt, fighting with the tiller that's bouncing all over. I threw the gypsum in there. It made it easier right away. I didn't know what to expect with it, but almost immediately it felt easier to get the tiller through it. I think I'm going to go ahead and flip some of this over with the shovel, throw a little more gypsum in, let the rain do its thing tomorrow, and then come back and till it again, and then add all my other soils back there. We'll call this a wrap on this video. I've got all that debris I've been pulling out as I've been tilling sitting on the patio that I need to clean up. So. Hooray for rain tomorrow. I get to take a little bit of a rest. Thanks for watching.